Hey guys, it's your girl Bougie Bree. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. You could be anywhere in the world, but you choose to be here with me. Right here. And I appreciate that shit. We've got three baskets for our monthly haul. We have our Mercari basket. Then we have our indie like Etsy brand basket. And then we've got our Sephora and other basket. So let's get started. I'm gonna do Mercari first. Okay, the following items I all got from Mercari. So let's talk about this one. This first one is the Miracles of the Amazon, I believe. It's from Tarte. I really enjoy Tarte's like, um, like eye and face palettes. They always have a gorgeous blush in them. So that's one that I got. Then I also got this style by Harouche. I had this before and I got rid of it and I regret it very much. Let's move you guys up. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, I think that's better. Let's do this. I got the Style by Harouche palette. I had it at one point. I regretted getting rid of it, so I got this one. Again, I got the Man Eater, which I got rid of like last month. I don't know why I really like this palette. Really beautiful eye and face palette. Then this one I really did regret getting because I thought it was the prettiest palette. This is the Buried Treasure, I believe. That's what it's called. I can't really see from the position I'm in. This is really, really gorgeous. It was a holiday palette. Just really pretty. I like that one. Then I also picked up the Stila 4-in-1 um, palette. These are just four of Stila's um, sh shadows. And I was really surprised at how well they swatch. Like, let me give you this red real quick. Really beautiful. Then let me give you the silver. Just really pretty. So, super happy that I got that. And I got that at a very discounted price. So happy about those. Um, let's see. I did pick up the Morphe 25D. The Day Slayer. Did pick this one up. This is 35-0, basically. This is a miniaturized version. I did pick up the Basic Bitch from MAC. And this is a great, it was brand new in the box or in the sleeve. It's really beautiful. Has um, eye and face, really beautiful. The, actually, the highlighter in here is really beautiful. Um, it's kind of like a dual chrome highlighter. I really like that one. Then I have been wanting this and wanting this and wanting this, and I couldn't find it at a reasonable price. This is the, is this the happy hour? This is a Stila happy hour. Now, I have the after hours palette. It's the more neutral one. I've been wanting this one so bad, but I didn't want to pay an exorbitant amount of money. And I found it on Poshmark. I already had some Poshmark money saved on there, and I really wanted it, so I got it. Then I also got this one on Mercari. This is um, Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes. No, hardly used at all. Beautiful. Super excited about that one. Then, I don't know why I got rid of this. This is the Violet Voss Holy Grail. <laughs> I don't know why I got rid of this. I have no idea. So this is what it looks like and it has barely been touched barely been touched at all. Really beautiful. And then I don't know why I got rid of this one. I love Bud Boss's formula. This is like a boss. I love this palette. I don't know why. Hmm, I'm an idiot sometimes. This is the Stila Blue Realm. It came in the box. Here's the packaging for it. Um, I just saw Leah Jane get, did Leah Jane, is that her name? Get rid of this. Let me just go ahead and open it up. Neanderthal style because I can't get into it. Now I'm, I wanted to mention that the um, after hours and the happy hours palette, they're very heavy. Like throw something at somebody and hurt some heavy. God damn, I can't get into this damn box. I'm making this very impossible. Okay, this is the blue round. It's in that same steel of packaging. And this is, there's like two mats and the rest are toppers. Really, really pretty. 
I like that one. I'm not really excited about that one. Then I have been recollecting my Tarte um, holiday items. This is the, oh gosh, I can't remember what this is. But here it is. It's been used, but that's okay. What is this one called? Let me see. Oh my gosh, I can't think what this is called. And then I went ahead and re-got the Tardius Pro. This was in excellent condition. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. So happy about that. Then these two were a shocker. This person was giving this away. I think these were $7 each. This is Mac in the Flesh, which I've actually owned before. And then this is the Warm Tone Mac palette. And I've owned both of these before. And you know what? I never even gave them a chance. So they were both five bucks a piece with like a little bit of shipping. This is Stila. Let's see, eyes are the um, window to the body. And where's the other one? Eyes are the window to the mind. I had the soul one for a long time. So these are the two that I got. The bottom is all matte. The top one everybody hates, but I don't know. I like to do my own research. This one I've already owned. And this is the Pretty Mess palette with Erica Jane from Too Faced. Really pretty. Then this one I've owned before. It's one of my first Tarte palettes. This is She Dreams, She Believed, and She Succeeded. This is the Classic Courage. Excellent condition. Beautiful. Then I got two of these. The Master Primer. Uh, this is the Blur and Illuminate. So, got that one. And the last one I got from Ricari is the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die. Which I sold for like next to nothing. And I got this one for $15. Look at all those shades. So, those are all the items I got from Mercari. If you give me a second, we'll move on to something else. Okay, guys, I forgot one thing um, from the Mercari haul. I did get this Pretty Fun and Fearless. You remember these? Uh, this is the Fearless one. Really happy to get these. I want to collect all three of these again, so I did get this in the haul. Okay, now we're moving on to, like, Sephora... Beauty Bay, that kind of stuff. So let's do our Beauty Bay stuff. We just got this stuff. Is that all of it? I think that's all of it. Oh. No, I think that's all of it. I think that's all of it. Okay. So this is our Beauty Bay stuff. We just got this in yesterday. So the first one I got was Le Macaron. I've had this before, but I sold it before I could even use that, which is so stupid. Uh, really beautiful glitter infused shades. Gonna definitely be keeping it this time. Then I got, excuse me, two of the Nabla Cutie Patootie or whatever they're called. This is the Wild Berry one. This is right up my color story. This is so beautiful. I'm a little concerned about the shimmers because they look like toppers, but I'm not gonna project. And this is the Cutie Metropolitan. Like that color story as well. These were on sale, but I don't remember. As was this. I've been wanting this. I have the other one, the Enchanted something or another. Um, but I've been wanting this one because I really like that green. The green and the um, white are toppers, but the silver and the black are supposed to be actual colors. I'm not going to swatch it here because I don't want to be disappointed and then have it on camera. So, I love the brand Sosu. Hold on, guys. I love the brand Sosu. Um, it's actually a very good uh, UK brand. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Let's go back. Okay. I love the brand Sosu. They're actually an amazing UK brand. Um, I don't know what they did to somebody... I don't know, but I love their um, eyeshadow palettes. This is an Eye and Face palette. I don't know who Aiden Kate is, but that's who uh, they collaborated with. Um, I haven't even swatched it, but I know I'm going to love it. I love so too. They make great stuff. Now, this is Sample Beauties, the Prodigy palette. It's a jewel tone palette, but 
but I need to talk to somebody about this. I already sent a, a message to Beauty Bay. These shimmers right here, right here, right here. Something is wrong with them because if you touch them too much, you can get pan. Like, do you see that? I'm barely touching them. I'm barely touching them. And I can get pan. I don't know why. That really bothers me. It really, really, really bothers me. It makes me feel like something is wrong with the palette itself. So I'm not sure, but I already emailed Beauty Bay to see if that's the way the formula is. I also emailed Sample because something is wrong with that. I don't know. Then let's talk about Peachy Queen. You guys know I'm not a fan of Peachy Queen, but they had a couple of palettes I thought that I wanted, but I got duped. So let me talk about those. The Spicy Sriracha, that was the one that everybody wanted. And their packaging is really cute. This is what it looks like. I do like this palette. I didn't think I was going to. I love this color, Keep It Spicy, and the color Zesty. It's really, really beautiful. Now this is my type of orange um, warm tone palette. Then we have You Are My Sunshine, which is really like a pastel-y, not quite pastel-y, but pastel-y um, color story. Okay. And then this is the one that pissed me off. This is the reason, the whole reason I placed the order was for the Amethyst palette. I must not can read or it wasn't in there, one or the other, but I did not know they were going to have one, two, three, four, five fucking glitters. I was so mad when I saw this. So, so mad. But I did swatch them and they do look like the type of glitters that I can wear. But it's not something I can wear every day, so I'm kind of pissed. I wish I had realized that there were five fucking glitters. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, I think the rest of this... Oh, let's do Target. Target, Target, Target. Let's see what that's it. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get my life together. Oh, there is some in here that are Ulta. I forgot I went to Ulta. Can you see what I'm doing? You're not supposed to. Editing Bree, edit all this shit out. Okay. Okay, this is. Alright. Okay. Hopefully, I edited it out everything that you guys didn't need to see. Okay, this is my Target haul. Um, let's start with um, this is the Festival palette. I got this really, really cheap because it's supposed to already have been discontinued, but it wasn't. It was like $3. I'm not joking. At the Target by my house. So, uh, I've had this before. I loved it. And I don't know why I gave it away. I have been jonesing for the uh, Sephora Warm, Warm Pro, whatever. And I've had this before. And I gave this one away because I had the Warm Pro at the time. And I don't have it anymore. So, I picked up this one. Excuse the lawn, guys. They just know that I'm filming right now, so they have to be assholes. This is the Mauve's palette, or Mauve's. I don't know who decided that Mauve was a, was a way you say it, because it's not. It's Mauve's, people. It's a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. I really like it. I'm kind of concerned that this is a topper, but I'm not going to swatch it. And then I got the Wonderlust. Some of these I've swatched, and some of these I haven't. And just so you know, Profusion brushes are pretty damn good. Um, you know, these are this is right up my alley. It has the blues and the greens and the pinks and the purples. And then it has your neutrals. It's just absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. Okay, and the last one I have is the chocolates. Why is my camera moving so much? The last one I have is the chocolates. Give me that brush, though. And again, I got this for, I'm not joking, I think it was $3 or $2. I can't remember. They're literally in the stairway. Hold on. Fucking, are you serious right now? 
like, hey, we're right next to Bree's house, so let's fuck everything up. As she's filming her very important video about how she bought a bunch of shit. Dickweeds. This is the chocolate palette. I really, really, really like this palette. It reminds me of Natasha Denona's gold palette. So these are all the ones I got from Target and I think from um, Walmart. That's that. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let's talk about what I got from Ulta. The first one I got is the 35V. This was on sale for half off. I think it was $12.50. And I grabbed it. I wanted to talk, uh, check out all these blues and purples. You know, a million times I've said that you can use a blue in the crease when you're doing a purple look, and it looks amazing. I also got the 18F, which is a really beautiful pinky purple palette from Morphe. Really pretty. Then I also got, I've been dying for this. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I've been dying for this. I also got the, the Persona Identity 2. I've been wanting this since God was a child. Like, I can't explain to you how long I've wanted this. So, super excited to finally, finally, finally have it. Like, oh my gosh. Persona's um, quality is outstanding. Then I got the Juvia's Place um, foundation stick. I think that's the right color. I got swatches all over me, so I can't show you. And then the last one I got was the True Blend, uh, CoverGirl True Blend uh, Matte Made, and it's in 70, and I think it's the right shade. I'm almost positive it's the right shade, so that's what I got from Ulta. Okay, let's see what we got from Sephora. Okay, let me talk about the little bit, like, not as exciting stuff. Okay. Okay. The first thing I got was this um, Stellar highlighting palette, but I did not realize it was going to be like a cream to powder. I don't know. But it has great reviews, so I can't wait to try it. But this is from Stellar. It's on sale. Then I picked up an extra one of my um, Fenty uh, Pro Filter powders in Cashew. I love this. Then I picked up, this was on sale, and I really wanted to try it. This is the Becca Skin Love. It's the Weightless Blur Foundation. I think this is my color. If not, we'll make it work. It's supposed to have vitamin C, cold pressed avocado and melon blend, and bitter ginger. So excited about that. Then I picked the, okay, this is a huge deal for me. Okay, I love Ole Hendrickson, but I can't always afford them. And so this is the Truth Serum Foaming Cleanser. It was on sale like $17 or something. So I got two of these. Huge, huge deal for me. Like super fucking happy about that. Then let's see. Um, oh, this is actually from Mercari. I was able to pick up the Natasha Love Glow. I just forgot it. I put it with my Sephora stuff. Look at that. Look at that, sissy. Yeah, it's amazing. And then I also picked up from Sephora, I picked up the HG because I really do like the Vibe Phosph HG. And when I start traveling again, I want to be able to use something, take something with me that I know I'll use. And I, I have had this before and I used the hell out of it. So I'm going to keep that one. Then we're going to talk about the radioactive. I had the radioactive, I sold it. Now we're talking about how I purchased it again. Um, but the only thing is that one of my shades came broken and it keeps puffing up and I don't know what to do. This is my uh, radioactive palette that this shade does not want to stay down and I don't know what to do about that. But this is what it is so far. It's a beautiful palette. Then let's talk about... The Urban Decay Violet, Ultraviolet. This is not as violet as I was hoping. I mean, there's definitely a neutral side and a violet side, but this is not what I was hoping for at all. Not at all. But, you know, it's it's here. There's no, I mean, there's no use in 
there's no use in saying anything until I try it. So we'll see. Then I have the Extravagance, which I freaking love this palette. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is one of the most beautiful palettes I've seen in a very long time. It's really, really pretty. If I can bring it up closer. It's really beautiful. Then I picked up two aqua liners from um, what the hell is that called? Um, Make it forever. And the other one is from Sephora. It's a felt tip liner. It's in these right here. And then I picked up two lipsticks, which are fucking amazing. This one is in zero. This is from Kat Von D. Focus, 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 focus. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to focus. Not to me, it doesn't. There we go. There it is. Really pretty, like a purple gray. So in love with it. Then this is called Love. I've already worn this one before. Beautiful. So then, pre-sale from Natasha Denona directly without paying shipping. Received the day it was supposed to launch. I do have the bronze palette. Yes, indeedy, I do have it. I'll try a link in the cards. Um, my most recent Natasha Denona video, which I just did the other day, which is so funny. So that's it, guys. That's all the stuff I bought in the month of June. Today is June 30th. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more shit. And, uh, I'm okay. Oh, no. Wait a minute. God damn it. Hold on. I'm a liar. I'm a damn liar, guys. I have a whole nother basket. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, I must be a fucking idiot. I totally forgot about this basket. My God, okay, and then the guys outside know that I'm filming, so they're like, oh, let's go over here and cause a bunch of trouble for Bree because she's doing some shit, so. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to finish out with my Etsy and my indie stuff, and uh, let's get going. Okay, some of the things I've repurchased, and this is what made me remember. I was like, where did I get this from? Um, some of the things I purchased, well, all of the things I purchased from Nubian, from Juvius, I'm sorry, the Juvius place were things I've already owned before. Um, and I've owned a Nubian 3 Coral, but I never tried it. And I don't think that's fair to the palette <laughs> that I never tried it. So I decided to go ahead and repurchase it and give it a shot, see if I'd like it. Another one, now this palette everybody raves about, right? Everybody loves the Zulu palette. I don't like it, I never have liked it. Um, mine swatched horribly and I could never get past that. I'm hoping that this one is different. Um, I got one of the first batches, I'm sure. But I'm hoping that this one is different. And you guys know I don't like all matte palettes, but I want to round out my collection and have everything. So that's what this is. I'm trying to get the Wahala, but it's going to be quite difficult. It's always sold out. So those are my dubious plays. Now, let's do all that glitters. I have a bunch from them. Okay, All That Glitters is a UK-based brand, and these are the ones that I have from them. This is Glamorous. These are all glitter-infused shades. This is Daring. This is Charming. This is, oh, I don't know which, which one this is. The sticker fell off. Well, here's this one. It's so pretty. I'm going to swatch this one. Hold on, give me a second. Let me swatch okay, this Okay, I'm going to swatch these for you. I had to clean off my hand. Let's do this one. Oh, my gosh. Do you see that? Okay, let's grab, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this one. You see that? 
Let's grab this other kind of gray color. Beautiful. I really like this brand. And they're all shimmer palettes, all glitter infused. This one is Dark Cam uh, Chameleon. Now these are more um, glitter shades, so let's look at these real quick. Let's do this one. Let's see, let's grab some more of it. I didn't get it, I wasn't very aggressive. Now that one, you can definitely feel the particles on your hand. Very interesting. This one is color pop. And these are all colors, different colors. Let's use this yellow. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let me clean that up. There we go. Wow. Okay, there it is. I messed up and I put um, a dark colored finger in there. Let me see. Let's see if I can do this right. That is gorgeous. Good Guga Muga, as my mom would say. I never understood, but mom, what is that word? She'd just say it like it was a word. I'm like, mm -mm, that ain't no word. This is our Zur, with their blues. I'm really drawn to this one right here. Let me see if I can grab that one. Let's try. Look at that duochrome. Do you see that? Oh shit, that's really pretty. Let me grab this one right here. Let me grab this one right here. Wow, that is gorgeous. Mmm, all that glitters on Etsy. Then this is the rainbow one. Really beautiful, guys. All that glitters. So, I bought all this stuff, and she cut me a really good deal, so I'm really happy about that. Now, here's another brand that I'm going to be doing a feature on. Um, I think this is all of them. Let me see. Nope, they're not. There's more. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a feature on all uh, on this brand. The palettes are dirty because I've been playing with them. Let me see which ones I want to do first. Yeah, this is NBA Cosmetics. My beauty addiction. This is a pre-made palette called Garden Party. And they have like satin, shimmer shades, and mattes. And this is, I can't say that word, I don't know how to say that word. Let me see if I can grab, sorry guys, keep coming out of frame there. Let me see if I can do this one. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Wow, that's beautiful. So then, um, this is the psychedelic. I have not touched this one because I just can't. Now these right here, these shadows plus the compact, it was twenty four dollars. That's it. This right here was the same, but there's more shadows. And these these are psychedelic shadows. I just can't mess them up yet. I'm not ready to do that. <laughs> so I'm kind of ridiculous. These are this is a palette that I made. I told her I wanted to make a blue and green palette. And a pink and purple palette. So she made it happen for me. So this is the one that I made that's pink and purple. Let's see if I can get this purple right here. What do you say? How oh, big down. I mean, it's remarkable. And then this is the blue and, uh, blue and green. But of course I threw in that yellow because I think it looks prettier. This one broke. So let's go ahead and splash him. You notice how whenever um, a shadow breaks in someone's palette, he's a, it's a him. I think that's funny. Oh, crud. I just got new flooring and I don't want to screw it up. Let's see. God damn. I'm super, and let me tell you something. The customer service is outrageous. She is so friendly and so sweet, like for real, for real, like the sweetest person in the world, so helpful, so willing to help you get the best discount that she can give you, like really, really, really 
a good person. You know what I mean? Like, just a good person to do business with. The kind of person that you would go back and do business with. Like, she's amazing. So, just wanted to talk about that. My Beauty Addiction, MBA Cosmetics. I believe they're out of California. Just amazing. Let me wipe off my hands because I do want to do some more swatches. Okay, guys. I had to wipe off my arms and hands and stuff. Let's talk about my favorite brand at the moment. Sound Cosmetics. I did a whole um, big thing about their palettes. I'll link it in the cards and in the description box. This is their newest. Well, not their newest. Their newest one just dropped a couple of days ago, but we're talking about in the month of June. This is Paradise Summer. Now, this is kind of like grungy, like gives me subculture vibes, but summer subculture vibes. Like, I'm really loving it. It also comes with a mirror. Christina's been putting in some mirrors, which I think is awesome. Christina's the owner. Um, again, I do, I'm do. i not an affiliate. I don't have the code. I'm hoping that when she does have an affiliate program that I am number one on the list because I love me some sound cosmetics. Um, but either way, I'm happy to be, just be friends with her. This is Electric Nights Summer. This is really beautiful. I, haven't, I just got these last night. So, haven't had a chance to play with them. I do make it a priority to play with them as soon as I get them. This is Metamorphosis. And of course, it's going to be a beautiful summery um, color story. Just outstanding. Just the quality, the customer service. The, you know, she's just a really good person. She's a beautiful story. You know, I just really dig Sound Cosmetics. Definitely number one in my book. Okay, then let's look at Becca Muse. I have a bunch of Becca Muse. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Okay. And then I have like 10 more coming today. Okay. Let's do Kristen Lee because I have, this is a small one. This is Kristen Lee Cosmetics. This is just like a four pan little thing here. Okay, Becca Muse. Um, I don't think I wrote the names on all of them. This is a four pan little guy. I really like the color story on this one. It's really cute. Uh, very simple. You can make a really simple eye look with that one. And this, I think I wrote, okay, this is the Winter 2019 palette. It has glitters. You know, I don't like glitters, but that's okay. Everything coincides, works together. So that's awesome. This is, let's see what this one is. This is the Maple palette. I'm so glad I put the names on these. Really beautiful. Years ago, when I first started out beauty blogging, I, ended, I um, reviewed this brand, and I can't remember if I did a favorable favorable review or not, but she has come leaps and bounds, just outstanding. This is Suki. I think I talked about um, how she was, it was a good palette that she had, but it, there were some improvements that needed to be made. Well, honey, she has made improvements and much, 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 much more. So congratulations to the owner of Becca Muse. This is Kazuki. I like this one. I like that gray and that pink and those blues. I really like that one. And like I said, I have like 10 more coming today. So I basically bought all of them. This is the Verna. I have a cousin named Verna. I like this one because you have your two rows of mattes and your two rows of shimmers. I really like this one. I know with these indie brands, it's hard for them to afford to do this, but I'd really like it if they put their names on their palettes. This is Euphoria. Really beautiful. This is Solar. Really indicative of the planet, right? So I got like three more and then I got my big expensive one that I went through. This one's a Houston palette, of course. Um, this company's out of Houston, so. 
warm tone for sure. And this one is Carmine. I love this one too. Those pinks and bluish purples and purples. Really the reflective packaging, I really like that too though. Last one is Stella. This is it. I love the color story. She has great color story. Okay. Good job, Becca Muse. Okay, now I saved the most expensive for last. This is my Touch of Glam eyeshadows. There are 30, but there's like 28 in this in this palette. Um. <laughs> oh my god, these are fucking amazing. I'm just gonna grab one. Let's grab this one. Let's grab this blue, purple. There's some of them are glitter infused. Some of them are duochrome. They're just outstanding. Oh, it makes me wanna lose my breath. I can't. Here's this pink. Let's get this pink right here. Do you see that? Get out of here. Y'all ain't got nothing like that in y'all collection. <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's get this one right here. I mean, it's a little chunky. That's okay. You can blend it out. And let's grab this one right here. Girl, get out of here. This was um, $250, but I think I only paid $150 or $130. I don't know. She deep discounted it. I bought them all. There's another um, set that I really want, and I will be doing a review on Girl Meets Makeup, Touch of Glam, NBA Cosmetics, and um, Davina that are all coming out um, this month. Okay, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, that you're staying safe and sane. Just remember, if things go sideways, it gets real, it gets different, it gets really fucking different. Hang on for the ride, guys. Love you, take care. Bye.